This video is going to explain how to use bar models using the operation addition. The first word problem we have here is Celeste counts 15 pictures of monkeys and 20 pictures of birds in her book. How many pictures of monkeys and birds does she count? The first thing I'm going to ask myself, is this a part, part, whole bar model or a compare problem? This is a part, part, whole, so I'm going to circle this and start setting up my bar model. I'm going to look back into the word problem and she has 15 pictures of monkeys. So I'm going to draw a rectangle to represent 15 pictures of monkeys. And I'm going to put 15 in that rectangle. Okay, now I'm looking at my second number and I have 20 pictures of birds. 20 is larger than 15, so I'm going to make this bar just a little bit longer so it is accurate. And the question here is how many pictures of monkeys and birds does she count? So I'm going to make a bracket and put the question mark here because I'm looking for how many pictures she counted in all. I'm going to go over to the space here and start my number sentence and that is 15 plus 20 and that equals 35. I'm going to take that sum and insert it into my restate sentence. I'm going to look back to the question to make sure I'm picking the important words from the question. I'm going to write Celeste counted 35 pictures of monkeys and birds. Okay, the next problem that we have here as an example is Jonathan reads 121 pages of a book on Saturday. He reads another 59 pages on Sunday. How many pages does he read in the two days? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask myself, is this a part, part, whole, or is this a compare problem? This is, once again, a part, part, whole problem. I am going to set up my first rectangle, and this one is going to be longer. So this is 121, and the second rectangle is going to represent 59, so this one's going to be a little shorter. I'm going to set up my bracket because I'm looking how many books he read in the two days. So the question mark goes in here. I'm going to set up my number sentence, which is 121 plus 59. This number sentence re involves some regrouping. 1, 1 plus 9 ones is 10 ones. We're going to regroup. I'm going to look back to my question, how many pages does he read in the two days, and use the important words to use in my restate sentence. So he reads 180 pages in the two days. All right, here's another example of an addition bar model. This word problem says Sandy has $586. Sandy has $124 less than Peter. How much money does Peter have? First thing I'm going to ask myself, is this a part, part, whole, or a compare bar model? And it is actually a compare model. So this bar model is going to look a little different than the part, part, whole explained previously. What I need to do to start out here is write the two people's name. We have Sandy and Peter. Sandy and Peter. Sandy has $586, so I'm going to draw her bar. Okay, then I'm looking back in the word problem, and she has $124 less than Peter, so her bar is actually going to be shorter than Peter, so I have to draw a longer bar for Peter. 
and I currently don't know how much Peter has, so my bracket is going to go down here. Okay, I do know how much more Peter has. He has $124 more, so I'm going to plug that in over here. And what I like to do, I like to draw a dotted line here to split the bar up. So I have 124 here, dollars, and I'm going to plug this number in down here which is $586. And then I can visually see what two numbers I need to add to get Peter's amount. So I'm going to set up my number sentence, which is $586 plus $124. And I add that up. which is $710 for Peter's amount here. So I'm going to take that answer and plug it into my restate sentence. I'm once again going to check my question up here, which is how much money does Peter have? I'm going to pull the important words and say Peter has $710.